this is a new dawn for the National Prosecuting Authority. I pledge, and I have done so also through my taking of oath, my commitment to prosecute all cases where there is sufficient and admissible evidence without fear, favor, or prejudice. Brave words, perhaps even courageous. The NPA has failed to distinguish itself lately. It lost a string of court cases in spectacular fashion and is widely perceived as being politically infected. Nasana admits these shortcomings, that some cases should not have been lost and that others should have been prosecuted. What is at the heart of the, the problems of the NPA at present is um, because of those few um, so-called high profile cases obviously with the there is a perception that uh, the the NPA the the perception that has been create, created that the NPA is somehow trying to um, protect some other high ranking people but it's only a few cases compared to the success of the NPA journalists were skeptical Will he, for example, release the so-called spy tapes that are believed to have formed the basis of a 2009 NPA decision to drop charges against President Zuma? I don't want to comment about something that I have not seen and whether um, they are there or not because I've been, I've been busy. Um, but just to answer your question is uh, when... Um, time is opportune for me and um, I have been given the, 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 the spy tapes and, and the, the judgment. I will look at the judgment, study the judgment, um, obviously perhaps establish a very strong team and get opinion if necessary. Will he display a different attitude towards Glynis Breitenbach? The prosecutor who believes NPA bosses are persecuting her because she dared to lay the basis for the possible prosecution of former crime intelligence boss Richard Mluli. Actions, it is said, speak louder than words. Will his actions lead to a deafening silence or will it win him a place in the hearts and minds of South Africans? Vuyam Vogo. SABC News, Pretoria.